Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a dark mode, light mode, and system mode toggle for Next.js and Tailwind CSS. Uh, the completed code can be found at this link. So here is a quick demo of what uh, we will build. So here is the page with a toggle here. And so right now it is in system mode. Uh, and then if I click into it, now it is in dark mode. And then if I click again, this will go to light mode. And if I click one more time, it'll go back to system mode. So what are the steps to achieving this? Well, uh, let's just go through this document and I won't force you to watch me type everything out. So we'll just give you the solution since this is pretty straightforward. So first you'll have to create a Next.js app with all of the default options and then uh, you'll clean up the global CSS, remove all the dark mode, light mode stuff, as well as uh, cleaning up the home page. And then in the next step, you'll update Tailwind configuration, and you'll have to add this line here, dark mode class, uh, since we'll be toggling the mode based on the uh, class on the HTML element. And then you'll add uh, the dark mode script to the root layout. So uh, this script right here, it could be found on the Tailwind CSS documentation uh, in the dark mode section. Uh, but then we're using a regular script element here, and that's important uh, because if you try to use Next.js's uh, script component with a capital S, uh, that will cause a flash of unstyled content. So uh, that's why we're using a regular script element here. And then you'll have to create a theme switch component. And so this is what that looks like. Uh, so just to quickly go over this component here, um, we have a union type here of dark, light, and system, and null. And then we'll initialize that state to null. Uh, and then we have a use effect that runs once. So we're grabbing the theme from local storage. And if it's dark, we're sending it to dark. If it's light, we're sending it to light, and uh, else we're sending it to system. And then we have a function here to toggle dark mode, and this is triggered when the user clicks on that emoji. Um, or you can use whatever icon you want here, but uh, I just use an emoji for convenience. All right, so when we're toggling, we're setting, uh, so if they're on the system theme, then we're setting it to dark, and then setting local storage dark and then we're adding the dark class to the HTML element and then here if it's dark then we're setting it to light setting the local storage theme to light and then removing the dark HTML element and then if it's light we're going to system and then we're re removing the theme from local storage and then we're running this function here to apply the system theme so the system theme is based on what we, we get back when we run this line here so whatever they have uh, set for their user settings uh, on their operating system, then uh, this is what will get returned, right? So I believe that's, yeah, it, this returns a Boolean. So if they prefer dark, then we'll set dark, uh, you know, on the, the class of the HTML element. Otherwise, we remove dark. So just to quickly demo that part, I'm going to go back to the browser and then go to element and then so you see you see there's a dark class here if I change it to dark mode then there's dark change it to light mode then that gets removed and we change it back to system then it's dark now if my system was set to light mode then this would just get removed all right so um, yeah I guess the last step here is to actually use the, the theme switch component in the home page or wherever you want to put it in the header or navigation uh, and just to uh, quickly demo uh, the flash of unstyled content if you're using the Next.js script tag um, I'm gonna go ahead and comment this out and then comment or comment that in comment this out save and then go back to the browser. Now, if I refresh, you can see that 
it starts as white and then it changes to black. Right, so here it'll start as white and then once the class gets added, then it'll change to black. So to fix that, we use the regular script tag instead of this one. All right, so now if I refresh, you can see that the flash is gone. Refresh, there's no flash and no flash. All right, I hope that helps. Uh, if you found this useful, like and subscribe. Thanks.